Hi, my name is Kristen Martin and I'm the manager of the labs programs here at The Tech. Today I'm going to introduce you to one of our most popular lab programs, Physics of Roller Coasters. This is a great program for kids of all ages. In this program, kids learn about physics like gravity and potential and kinetic energy all through the fun of roller coasters. This is a very easy to implement program with inexpensive materials that you can get at home. For this activity, each group will need five things. A roll of masking tape, a plastic cup, a marble, a box of tinker toys, and foam pipe insulation. To do this activity, you're just going to need any sort of flat surface. Also, you're going to want to give your students some constraints on the building of their roller coasters. We always like to use four simple constraints. Number one, your roller coaster has to be stable. Number two, your roller coaster must be reliable, meaning it has to work at least three times in a row. Yeah! Number three, your marble can have no human help to go down your roller coaster. It has to go down by the power of gravity alone. And rule number four is that your marble has to end into the plastic cup at the end of your roller coaster. You can always add more constraints to your building process depending on the grade level or the skill level of your students. We like to keep the constraints at a minimum because we really want the students to use their creativity and develop and design the most interesting roller coaster possible. If your students create something really simple at first, you can always challenge them by asking them if they can make it bigger, if they can make it taller, faster. The options are limitless. We give our students a limited amount of time because just like in the real world, there's time constraints. So after about 15 minutes of building time, we call the end of time, and then we have our students do a little reflection on the roller coasters that they've built. Each group gives a little mini presentation on their roller coaster. We like to ask what was the most difficult part, what was the easiest part, what is the best part about their roller coaster, and would they ever ride it if it was real? Let's try one more time. Make it a dollar.